Now, let's get this show started. Our first guest is a very funny actor, writer, and comedian you know from The Mindy Project and Mad TV. Now you can see him in the new HBO series, White House Plumbers. Please welcome Ike Baring Holtz. Congrats, you're the new Celebrity Jeopardy champion? Oh, come That's on. That's not easy. Come on. Uh, there I am right there. That's my trophy. I, I bring it with me everywhere I go. Uh, but yeah, I won it back in, uh, in January. Whoa. And you're gonna play the non-celebrity champion yeah, now. Yeah, and I'm gonna get destroyed. You think so? I know so, and I know going into it, that's my mindset. I'm just gonna go and have a good time, and they are just gonna beat me up. Well, I guess in your family, you can have more than one actor, because you're an actor, your brother's an actor. Yes. And your dad is now an actor, too? Yes, yes, this is wild. So my, that's my father, Alan Barinholtz, right there. He's, I'm much bigger than him. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Um, uh, but my brother John is an actor, he's on American Auto, and then my dad was an acting major back in like the 60s, mm -hmm. whatever. Then he was like, acting's not gonna work out for me. He was a defense attorney for many years in Chicago. And then last year, he randomly got a part in a show as a judge. Mm -hmm. So at age 70, he moved to LA and joined SAG. Go, Dad! Yes. So. If anyone's casting anything, he is available. I love that. I know, it's pretty sweet. It's really sweet. <laughs> He's such a cute guy. Look at him. He's adorable. <laughs> what was your first acting role? Oh, man. Uh, my first time I ever acted was uh, I was very young, and uh, they were doing the play The Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to audition for this play, and I want to be the lion. Best part in the whole play. Funny, cool costume. And so, like, I remember practicing with my dad and auditioning and, and, and working on the song, if, if I were king of the forest. And I went and auditioned, and I thought I did a really good job. And they called me, and they were like, so you're going to play Uncle Henry. <laughs> the worst part. Not even, like, a, like a present. Like, he's Auntie M's, like, <laughs> like he runs errands for her. He shows up, he has one line. He's like, oh, Dorothy. Thank goodness you're okay. <laughs> like, I would rather be yeah. at one of the trees that throws an apple or something. It's terrible. <laughs> do not tell people what I really do here, especially that oddball. Oh, are these the goods, Gordo? Hey, yes. Straight from the CIA art department. What happened to your hand? I burned it on purpose. Hey, where is this spook partner of yours? He'll be popping by from the White House. Don't you worry. He will be here. Morning, gentlemen. Howard Hunt, Jeb Magruder. There you go. We're back with Ike Baring Holt. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. Can you tell us what it's about? Uh, White House plumbers, first of all, when they announced it, Mindy Kaling said, is this a show about you clogging a toilet? <laughs> and I was like, no, no. It's, it's a show about history. It's a historical <laughs> show about Watergate. Uh, and it's all about uh, the guys who broke into the Watergate Hotel uh, on behalf of Richard Nixon. You got Woody Harrelson and Justin oh. Thoreau playing Howard Hunt wow. and uh, G. Gordon Liddy. Uh, Justin Thoreau has a very powerful mustache. I just have to shout out. <laughs> that, is a, that is a real mustache, folks, and it is strong. So that's real? That's real. And like, I'll be acting with him, and my eyes just kind of normally just drift down like, wow. <laughs> Y'all look like y'all have a lot of fun together. It was a lot of fun. It was, you know, it takes place in the 70s, uh, so, which is fun because uh, you get to wear your pants high, <laughs> which I, I love in the 70s. Men were just like, okay, my nipples are here, my pants will go here, great. <laughs> I love that. Downside is it's a lot of polyester, a lot of rayon. Mm. You're shooting in upstate New York in the summer. There are some interesting smells. <laughs> coming from everyone. You get in the van at the end of a long day, and it, it stinks, Jennifer. It smells very bad, and, uh, but it looks very good. So there you go. <laughs> it looks amazing. Now, you, when you were younger, you wanted to get into politics? I did. I, I, I remember my dad was friends with like a local politician in Chicago, and I would always, on election day, go to the, their campaign offices. And I love that they were helping people, or at least telling people they were gonna help them. Uh -huh. But what I really loved was the food. Oh my lord, like <laughs> every restaurant would be like, oh, congratulations, Alderman, we made you 15 pizzas. 
or donuts and candy, and I was just like, this is a great job, where they're just bringing you food all day. <laughs> so uh, uh, I, I, I opted not to and went into show business, where they bring you food. You not still get much. food. You still get food, but not as much. Not as so good. So maybe there's, uh, there's always time for me to go maybe. back. And maybe. we'll see. I don't know. I can, I can see that. I can do it. OK, you can do an amazing impression of Obama. Can you please do it for me? Folks, folks, real quick, I want to talk about Jennifer Hudson. Now, <laughs> let me, let me, let me be clear. Whoa. Let me be clear. I, I voted for her on Idol. She was my favorite Idol ever. I watched you win that Oscar with Michelle. And now you have your own show. And I just want to say, congratulations. <laughs> I, Midwestern, Chicago, kind of that, that, just that flat accent. Just kind of a, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You sound more like him than him. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, okay. I gotta have some fun with this. Right. So what would he sound like, like shopping for groceries? All right. Uh, excuse me, do you know where I can find a tomatillo? <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, what's going on? The pr price of cilantro. This is inflation, <laughs> folks. I guess he's making guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> I like a salsa. Okay, what, what about what he sound like at an amusement park? Amusement park? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you know how tall you have to be to ride this ride? Because <laughs> I'm 6'1". So as long as you're 6'1", I think we're going to be OK. Is that right, Joe? <laughs> Joe. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.